In 1991, the Department of Defense, and with it the discipline of earned value management, was rocked by three colossal failures. The Army Javelin Program, the Air Force C-17, and perhaps the most devastating, the $57 billion Navy A-12 attack check. At the announcement of the A-12's cancellation, Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney said, No one can tell me exactly how much more it will cost to keep this program going and I do not believe a bailout is in the national interest. If we cannot spend the taxpayers' money wisely, we will not spend it. But from this rocky period, integrated program management began to emerge. In January of 1992, I worked at PEO uh, Air and Missile Defense. I was the focal point, uh, EVM focal point for the PEO, and um, we had two programs go through, at that time was called a Milestone One DAB, uh, and we received an acquisition decision memorandum from the Honorable Donald uh, Yockey, the uh, Undersecretary for Acquisition. There had never been a mention of Earn Value or CSCSC at the time um, in any acquisition decision uh, memorandum, and yet in this ADM, um, the program managers were charged with conducting a review of their performance measurement baselines. I did not know at the time what to call this. This represented the uh, very foundation, the first technical reviews by PMs and their engineers uh, of the performance measurement baseline that took place. I called it a technical baseline review. Uh, it actually uh, was, the name was changed and corrected by Wayne Abba and Gary Crystal at OSD, uh, and they renamed this process the Integrated Baseline Review, or the IBR. So I was the first uh, pathfinder, if you will, for the first two IBRs that took place in OSD. We were deliberately uh, high level. We didn't touch very much on scheduling or change control. We don't even mention certify, certification because we don't want to scare anybody off. Because we were so weak or deficient in scheduling in particular, um, when we were asked to reaffirm, which came out with 748B, bravo, uh, this was dated July of 2007, so we were actually behind schedule at getting the thing certified. We had a lot of people arguing about the content. Uh, we stroked it up a great deal in the project scheduling arena, mentioned a little bit more about change control, and this was well received by government and industry. In fact, it's in many of the contract requirements referred to in the contract data requirements list in all departments, energy, defense, NASA. In 1999, the Performance Management Association merged with the Project Management Institute. The 2002 Sarbanes-Oxley Act reinforced earned value management as a way to assess and report accurate project status. In 2003, earned value management was codified as a standard AS4817 in Australia. In 2005, the Department of Defense published DIMGMT 81466A, the Contract Performance Report, CPR, Data Item Description, known in short as the CPR DID. And the next year, 2006, the Department of Defense published the Earned Value Management Implementation Guide, which is stated provided uniform guidance for DOD program managers responsible for implementing earned value management.